we're going to be creating stickers and I think one of the first things you have to think about is what you want to draw and so I'm just going to take a layer and start just brainstorming um, some ideas so for example I think I want a heart um, maybe like a star this is the basics right like a smiley face what else mm. maybe like a little bird um, a cup with coffee in it some tulips maybe um maybe like Maybe a strawberry. Yeah. So those are just some some basic ideas. Um, if you don't know where to start, um, you can also head on to um, Pinterest for ideas. That's where I find a lot of inspiration. So on my Pinterest board, um, which I have linked on my profile page, you can see just some ideas that I've collected here. Um, you could head on to stickers for some ideas of things to draw. Now that we have some place to start, um, I'm just going to turn this off and I can always turn it on if I need ideas. Um, and I don't need this to be too big. So I'm just going to resize this and just put it on the bottom here just in case I run out of ideas. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and click on this plus icon to create a new layer. Um, and I'm going to start drawing. Um, and before I draw, um, I like to have some colors ready because um, sometimes you don't really know what colors to choose. And although you can do this kind of as you go, I like to go where I'm going. Um, and so I have some color palettes that I've collected on my Pinterest board. And while you are drawing on Fresco, you can also have your Pinterest board showing up on either side. And the way you do that is you just swipe with your fingers up. And then you take this Pinterest icon. Um, if you don't see your Pinterest icon there, um, you just need to open your Pinterest board and come back to Fresco. Um, see how I can adjust it like that? And I can have all this reference to my left, which is so helpful. Um, and I can look at like my color palette board for some ideas. Um, but I've already actually saved um, a color palette that I like um, that I got from Pinterest. And so I'm going to bring that image onto fresco now okay so this is what i'm referencing um i'm just gonna make it kind of small put it here um and all i have to do to get these colors on my color board is just click on this eyedropper go here and then um click on brush and I'm just going to um, create these color dots here. Um, and it'll just, I just like, ha like having um, my color palette um, kind of ready to go. And just anytime I need the colors, I can reference them. So these are like different shades of beige and pink there. And then I've got like a yellow. And then orange. Okay, now that I have all of my colors, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that layer. Because I don't need it but now I have all these colors on this side in case I want to use them 
and um, they are also right in here um, but it just helps to you know just have them all there and it's like nice and clean um, if I want to do anything so I think I'm pretty much ready to go I've got this set of ideas here maybe make that a bit smaller um, I've got my color palette and I'm pretty much ready to go so let's get started drawing <laughs> 